anatomy of the jejunum. The jejunum forms the second part of the small intestine and it forms the upper two-fifth of the mobile part of the small intestine. It begins at the duodeno jejunal flexure where the gastrointestinal tract resumes an intraperitoneal course. Most of the jejunum lies in the left upper quadrant at the infrocolic compartment. Its walls are thicker and more vascular with wider lumen. The mesentery of the jejunum has windows which is with less fat and the villi of the jejunum are abundant, large and thick. The jejunum has very few solitary lymphoidic follicles and pears patches are absent. Now let us talk about the neurovascular structures associated with the jejunum. Arterial supply. Branches from the superior mesenteric artery supplies jejunum and approximately 1 cm inferior to that of the celiac trunk, the superior mesenteric artery usually gives off branches which arises from the abdominal iota at the level of L1 vertebrae. The superior mesenteric artery runs between the layers of the mesentery and gives off multiple branches to jejunum. And these jejunal arteries unite to form the loops or arches called arterial arcade which gives rise to straight arteries called vasa recta. In jejunum, there are one or two arterial arcades with fever and longer vasa recta. And next is the venous drainage. The superior mesenteric vein drains the jejunum and uh, in the root of the mesentery, the superior mesenteric vein lies anterior and to the right of the superior mesenteric artery and the superior mesenteric vein unites with the splenic vein to form the hepatic portal vein at posterior to the neck of the pancreas. And next is the lymphatic drainage, drains into the superior mesenteric lymph nodes and the nerve supply. The sympathetic nerve supply is from T9 to T11 segments and the parasympathetic nerve supply is from the vagus mainly by posterior vagal trunk. This is what you need to know about the anatomy of the jejunum.